What's cracking everybody? Zarphoros here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Badly content. Today's video, we got an awesome shoutcast of the Jungle Cup, a legend run with Brave Bird Decidueye by none other than Purple Kyogre himself, one of the OG Pokemon Go PvP content creators. So thank you so much, my dude, for sending in these battles. If you guys don't already know, PK, he's a content creator. Check him out. He's on Twitch, YouTube. I'll leave links in the description and pinned comment to his channels. And he sent me the legend run. You know, I'm, I'm not going to ignore that, dude. We got to we gotta watch this. Let's see. How, let's see. Dude, Brave Bird Decidueye. No baits here. We got nukes for days. We got a Pelipper in the lead in the first game here with Steelix on the lead. You got to watch out for those weather balls. But you can tank at least one. Um, Going for that. Going up to the crunch here. The Dragon Tail is definitely adding up against the Pelipper here. And we're going to see them go for that first weather ball. You could you could probably tank a second one if you want to, but I probably wouldn't. Uh, opponent goes into Decidueye, or opponent, <laughs> opponent goes into Vigoroth, and Decidueye comes out to say hello. Now, before the uh, Vigoroth got Rock Slide, Decidueye used to be a very, very hard answer to it as you resisted all of its moves. So it's now that it has uh, Rock Slide, it's a little bit better into Decidueye. Uh, that's why you see trainers running things like, um, you know, Sandy, I don't know, Sandy, guess, what is it, uh, Palo San, is that it? Frenzy Plant's gonna take him out, and he's gonna store a second Frenzy Plant here. For over farming to get the two moves here to force a shield off the Pelipper is a good play here, I like that a lot. Uh, opponent's gonna be able to get the farm down with the Pelipper, but having shield advantage is nice here, and Steelix is immediately going to come in and throw the crunch, because I imagine that the opponent probably gets to another Weather Ball if he doesn't throw right away, so it makes a lot of sense. And we get the defense drop as well, that's massive because that's just more damage. You want to get rid of this Pelipper because Quagsire in the back does not want to see it. Gonna The opponent's going to come in with their own Quagsire here, and PK is going to throw the Psychic Fangs and then bring in his own Shadow Quagsire. Now, Shadow Quagsire in this meta, very, very good Pokemon, has amazing coverage with Stone Edge Aqua Tail. Between those two, it does pretty much neutral or better to everything in the meta, and because of that defense drop, the opponent cannot sustain two Aqua Tails and they're running Mud Bomb, which means they may be running Mud Bomb Aqua Tail, meaning also that PK can shield this up and actually outpace, but instead decides not to. Gonna leave it all in the hands of the uh, Steelix here, going for as much energy as possible before the opponent could possibly get a farm down here. Now, the opponent could shield this as they do, and that means that, that no, they're gonna switch out. The Aqua Tail is gonna connect. That's pro I'm pretty sure that's enough damage to take out Pelipper here, and it is immediately swapping into the Steelix. Gonna be able to get the Dragon Tail down and take that game well played. Getting into the next battle here, we are going to have the Steelix on the lead versus another Steelix. Now, if you want to use regular Shadow Steelix, I think it's more or less an even trade here um, if you want to try to run this team. However, keep in mind that your Quagsire is also Shadow in this, and I definitely think you prefer the Shadow Quagsire. The moves just hit that much harder, um, and that, that spam on the Aqua Tail moveset is just silly. Now, the opponent does get the Crunch debuff on PK Steelix here, which is really unfortunate for him. Because in order to get, you know, caught up here, he's going to have to basically get another defense drop and then some. But the opponent shields up here, which actually kind of makes this interesting, as they did go up to an Earthquake, I believe, before throwing here. So the opponent did decide to respect it. But PK Steelix is like, man, I got my shield. I'm good. I did everything I came here to do. Now we're going to see the safe swap into the Shadow Quagsire. The opponent comes in with a Dragalge. Now, if he was running Mud Bomb, this would be a much worse time for the Dragalge because you get to it much quicker. But Stone Edge still going to put the hurt on this Dragalge. And do you farm down here? Wait a minute. Okay, so we shield the move. I don't know if they're at four or five here. I imagine they're probably at five. So he's probably, yeah, he's just going to play it safe, go for the Aqua Tail, like this play. We also have enough energy that we could probably get to a move against that Steelix if it decides to come back in. So the opponent's probably going to show their third here. So we'll see what's in the back. No, they come in with the Steelix. PK immediately sends the Aqua Tail at this opponent here. And that's going to leave Steelix with very little HP. And, oh, no, dude. Oh, I got the Dragonite. Oh, that's about the worst thing you could have possibly seen. I mean, Talon Flame's up there too, but oh man, that's terrible. That that yeah, there's nothing you could do here, man, because you need to get the two Brave Birds because they're gonna shield a move even if like they even a Spirit Shackle would do a reasonable amount of damage here. So oh, that's rough, dude. The Sidui is gonna go down to this Dragonite. The opponent still has a shield. They just shield whatever the next move is and they KO here. Even the Frenzy Plant being double resisted. I don't even think this would be enough to KO a Dragonite, but they're gonna shield it anyway. Yeah, this shield. That's alright. That's a good game. It happens. Well played. 
We're getting into the next game, and we get the revenge game. The Dragonite in the lead this time, and the opponent immediately swaps into Vigoroth, and in comes Decidueye. Now, we saw earlier PK running that Leafage fast move. It's a little bit faster. It's two-turn, I believe, uh, Leafage is, as opposed to uh, Magical Leaf, which I think has strictly worse energy generation, possibly. I don't know. They're very close. Um, but getting up to near two moves here, being able to get this Frenzy Plane off, the opponent probably just comes in and farms down with their Dragonite, but we might be able to get... The, uh, oh, wait, do they know? Does the Dragonite definitely comes in here, but do they know? Oh, it gets with a move. Oh, that's tragic, dude. Oh, I wanted to see if they knew if they had the Brave Bird. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Oh, man, my soul is torn in two. Wait, never mind. There's a Lantern. It's okay. Everything's fine now. We get to dick on Lantern today. I, I'm a happy man. A any day that I get to dick on Lantern is a happy day for me. The opponent got the defense drop. Those mud shots are doing quite a sizable amount of damage. You'd almost think they were counters or something. They go for the surf here. They're going to need more than two surfs to knock out as that spark damage is resisted. PK is going to go for the aqua tail here to try and fish for a shield. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I'm so funny. Dad joke. The opponent just says not, nah, dude. I'm good. What? Huh? Are you telling me that you have a Dragonite in the back and you're saving two shields for the... Dude, PK is just like, nah. He's trying to give as little farm as possible to the opponent Dragonite. He Obviously, the opponent has their shields, right? But now they're going to have to give them up. PK knows that if he takes a superpower, it's going to hurt. But the opponent doesn't have the energy for a superpower and then some... And they go down. Well played. All right, we're jumping into this next battle here against another legend player on the way up. This is another Dragonite. Oh, we love to see it, dude. Dragonite out here getting slapped by Steelix. The opponent stays in. The opponent's Dragonite does not know what to do. It's frantically flailing for its life here as it does absolutely no damage. PK is going to shield up the superpower here. The opponent's going to come in with their own Steelix. So what tells me here is they may not have an answer to Steelix in the back or maybe Steelix is their best answer because I can literally not think of any good reason why anybody would ever stay in that long with a Dragonite against a Steelix. So we're going to come. It's going to come down to see what's in the back here. Uh, opponent is going to go for a Psychic Fangs and that'll connect. PK is like this. It's fine. The Aqua Tails are going to do a ton of damage. You, you farm down. Oh, you farm this down. Oh, beautiful farm down. Absolutely gorgeous. You could certainly rip a shield off of that Dragonite with no problem. And you don't even, at this point, because they took all that damage, you could just go Aqua Tail. You don't even need to go for the Stone Edge at this point. This is fantastic setup. The opponent staying in. I have to see what's in the back. A Buzzwall? Are you kidding me? You don't swap them. I don't understand it. Why? 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 Huh? Trainers, I'm confused. Because you have two... You have a super good answer in the back. I guess, I mean, super good is relative, right? It's fighting type. So Psychic Fang still hits back. But you have a Buzzwall in the back and a Steelix, and you stay in that long just to get a superpower off? Trainer, please. Trainer, please. Nah, PK wins this game. You can't even take that from him. After that, he absolutely deserves the game. Absolutely. Steelix putting in all the work it needs to. Decidueye is just chilling, and that's going to be a good game. Well played. That's a situation if you're the Dragonite player where, like, you swap out and you try to... Another D-Knight? Hello? Now this opponent stays... What is happening? Where can I find these trainers? One Steelix. Just one Steelix. That's all we need. That's all we need is just one Steelix. We could we could literally just remove the bottom two Pokemon. Steelix literally just solos everything, apparently. My goodness. Anyway. Um, so anyway, as I was trying to say earlier, if you're in that situation as the D Knight player, you typically would want to like try to swap out. Maybe get the opponent, you know, if your your opponent Steelix to swap out, so that you can get some you can get some um, energy later with your uh, with, with your Dragonite and not have to eat five Dragon Tails to get to a superpower, right? Yeah, that's typically what I would be expecting there. That's what I would want to do. So anyway, uh, that just too much damage sustained on the Dragonite there. They didn't have to take it. I didn't take it. Oh my goodness, dude! Bro, I would too. I'm top lefting too. Who baits there, honestly? 
Oh, we're picking up a 4-1 set. Getting right. Dude, 94. 2994. Oh, he's right there. He just needs... He literally needs to breathe on the lumber, and it's going to go over. Anyway, into the next... Oh! Charger Bussy! Are you kidding me? Okay, the opponent comes in with a feral thorn here. That's a little bit more awkward. This is actually going to be a game now. I'm not going to... I'm not going <laughs> to... The leads are fantastic. You couldn't ask for better leads. The problem here is that... Steelix is the hardest answer to the Charger Bug, but also the opponent doesn't really have, like, Decidueye and Quagsire don't have an amazing amount of play into the Charger Bug. So swapping out here is good, but the switch timers are very misaligned here, which could potentially give the opponent an opening to take advantage of a matchup here. Now, the real question is, does this opponent know that the Brave Bird exists? Because they're going to no-shield a Spirit Shackle. Bro, I got the button ready at this point. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Oh. Beauty. It's a thing of beauty. Hit him with another one. PK, do it to him. Give it to him. X, go and give it to you. PK, go and give it to you. Hit him. Do it. Please tell me they don't shield this. If they shield this, I swear. Oh, okay. Well, they know that it exists. I guess they have to, but they're also loaded on energy, but now they're still locked in against the Steelix, which Steelix resists all of the damage from Charger Bug and due to its massive amount of bulk. And the opponent comes in with a Ufus and they know they're done. It's cooked. They're cooked. It's over. Good game. That was a terrible situation for the opponent, just alignment based alone. Now, speaking of terrible alignment, here comes PK, and he's going to have a Steelix swap immediately into this Quagsire. Quagsire is going to go for an Aqua Tail here to uh, get some chip damage off on this Quagsire before potentially swapping out to protect this line or this um, alignment here. The opponent comes in with an Obama Snow, but PK's got so much energy. He could probably get both shields here, and this Obama Snow is an extremely dangerous. What? Boom! <laughs> Bro, who baits there? You give them, you give them enough energy to feed a whole family, and it, huh? No, you shield that. Good game. <laughs> Bro, I thought these were gonna be some sweaty games, and here I am. Just this is beautiful. All right. Now, we have Vigoroth in the lead here. Immediate swap into the Swag Sire here, Shadow Swag Sire. And uh, the opponent's staying in for a bit, getting some energy maybe. Now they're going to go up to what would be nearly a Rock Slide. Not quite a Rock Slide, but they're going to go for the Body Slam here. It makes sense. You wouldn't want to go for a Rock Slide as uh, the damage is resisted. Now, you do live a Body Slam. Do you shield again? No. PK decides it's not worth the second shield here. We have two Aqua Tails and then some loaded. He's going to look to unload some of this energy onto the Vigoroth now. He was probably swipping, swapping it immediately to try and get the Decidueye um, onto the Vigoroth, but unfortunately, the opponent seems to be reading this or has another answer in the back to the Steelix and has decided to stay. Now, they correctly also shield the, uh, the Stone Edge. This is looking like a very awkward situation, but I think now, at this point, you just come in with Decidueye and hope for the best. Now, the opponent getting farmed down here. Leafage doing quite a bit of damage. No shielding this Rock Slide here, assuming, obviously, they're not going to be running Bulldoze anymore. Rock Slide connects, and we're going to get the farm down. The opponent not getting to a Body Slam for even the chip down. Oh! painful this alignment is painful man all right psychic fangs does a little bit to the cloud sir here and oh pk's like no nah, i'm not gonna bother oh come on now good game dude uh, that 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 was genuinely a really difficult i don't blame him for top lefting all right speaking of speaking of unwinnable for the opponent here steelix against skarmory and the opponent's scar it's staying in huh what do they have in the back that's so weak to Steelix then? Sky, you're sky attacking. Trainer, you need to go for Bright, but they're literally looking to play this out. So I know that this matchup isn't like, it, the, the, like the Skarmory still does damage. Like let's let's not forget this fact. Like yes, they're staying in, but Skarmory's still going to do some damage here. And PK is correctly overloading a ton on energy here because the opponent might go for a Brave Bird. Go for a Brave Bird and then maybe try to swap out. But now he's going to go, excuse me, for a crunch. He's got just about two loaded here. And the opponent is going to let this go and look to put their Swiss Cash out now on this Steelix. Now, it's going to come down to, I believe, what's in the back. As At this point, just do as much damage as you can to the Shadow Cash and be able to put your Decidueye on 
the uh, the Shadow Cache. Now, even though uh, Decidueye isn't the bulkiest thing in the world, like you wouldn't expect it to be like Altaria or something, it does still wall with that grass typing. The opponent has a Guzzlord in the back. This is very sketchy. I don't know how we're going to play out of this. Going to go for an Aqua Tail Bait, hoping that the opponent maybe thinks it could be, could just be the Stone Edge. The opponent does shield up the Stone Edge Bait here, and they're going for a charge move. Now, it's going to come down to this is why the opponent didn't swap out, because Guzzlord is just absolutely demolished in the back. Or in the, in, uh, absolutely demolished by Steelix. So the opponent actually playing that out made a lot of sense for them now that we see what's in the back. But going for the Hail Mary Brave Bird. PK letting it loose. No no cares, nothing. Oh! Kaboom! I have been fulfilled. My entire day has been made much better now that the opponent got completely clapped in those cheeks by guzzlord the guzzlord goes down to the brave bird decidueye farms down and that's going to be the game that's it he pushes himself to the limit brave bird on decidueye it's the real secret tech congratulations on legend pk absolutely fantastic games it was an absolute joy to shoutcast these thank you so much my dude i appreciate this opportunity because man those just those, those games were just chef's kiss man anyway thank you all so much for watching we'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye